Welcome to this starter's guide for Pandemic Express. This video is aimed at easing new players in by teaching them how to play the game. Pandemic Express is a team play based FPS experience set in abstract industrial outskirts of the near past. Escape on a first upcoming train from Zombie Flood, stay alive or join the floating mass and make sure no one will. To get into a game, all you have to do is click the train icon on the left top corner and press the button under it saying escape. When you join a game, you spawn in one of these four stations as shown now with the rest of the players with you at the same station. After the game starts, one person out of 30 people gets selected randomly and turns into a zombie. For the game to start, the zombie needs to infect at least two people, so at least three zombies need to be present for the doors to open. The human's objective is to get to the train, which is marked in-game, and survive on it until the train reaches the goal making them win. Humans can also scavenge for weapons and open airdrops for better gear to fight the zombies. The zombie's objective is to infect every last human in the game. Here are the contents of this section. Let's get into it. After a zombie gets selected and infects two people, the gates will open and humans are free to get out. You can press C to talk to your fellow teammates. This is the part where you need to outmaneuver the zombies whilst looking for a weapon and making your way towards the train. As a zombie, your goal in this stage is to infect as many humans as possible until they get to the train, or if you're the luckiest zombie alive, infect them all before they get to the train. You'll be fighting against or as zombies, so it's important to know what they are. The normal zombie is the one you turn into when you get converted. Left clicking attacks and right clicking swallows objects. You can swallow humans as well as barrels. Don't forget that humans have a time limit of how long you can keep them. You can see how much time you have left on the bar below after you swallow a human. Left clicking throws whatever you have in your belly. You can also hit other zombies to boost them forward. When a zombie and human are close together, a beeping sound will play. The beeping becomes faster when closer. When there is a no symbol on top of a human's head, you cannot swallow them. Humans get this mark above their head because a zombie hit them recently or they have been swallowed then spit out. To change to a special zombie, you need to charge up your ultimate bar. Hitting a human adds 20 points to the ultimate bar. Killing someone doesn't give you extra points. When you fill up your ultimate bar, you can press R to respawn as a special zombie of your choosing. You can choose the zombie you want to be by pressing 1 and 2 or with your mouse. Mimic is the first zombie you can choose after you fill up your bar. Mimics look like humans and have unlimited respawns. Pressing Q explodes you after a countdown and damages people around you. Phantom is the second special zombie you can choose by filling up your ultimate bar. You only have one heart instead of three and you can press Q to go invisible for 10 seconds. You can see how much time you have left on the counter below and attacking makes you visible again for 10 seconds. Keep in mind, humans can still sense you coming when you get close to them because of the beeping. Now that you know how to play as a zombie, you need to know how to run away from a zombie as well. If you master movement in this game, there are no limits to what you can do. Movement is by far the most important aspect of the game and there are so many things to learn about it. There are many ways you can get to wherever you want. You can use a boat to cross a river, a car to either off-road or follow the highway, trampolines to jump higher, and carts to relax and wait for the spot you're going to drop at. Cars have a fuel bar which decreases the more you accelerate, so going downhill while accelerating is a bad idea. Another quick tip to get around faster is to hold crouch while going downhill. This will make you slide which is way faster than sprinting, although if you try sliding while going uphill or a place without any downward incline, you'll be slowed down to a halt. Trampolines look like mattresses around the map highlighted with a pinkish outline when not looking at them and with a yellow outline when looking at it directly. Jumping on them launches you to the direction you were going. Carts are train-like vehicles that move around a railway system around the map. You cannot change which direction they're going, so you can only use them in certain conditions. 
although getting on them can be tricky as they go pretty fast. An easy way to get on the train when you're next to it is to shoot to boost yourself up in the air. This is the best trick to get up to high places and you can use it anytime you're close to a solid surface. There are lots of guns you can find ranging from SMGs, shotguns, AKs and some more. You can test guns out in the training mode in the menu. Guns you find in the game range from 1 star to 6 stars, each star representing an increase in damage and ammo capacity. The only 6 star weapon in the game currently is the rocket launcher that can only be found in airdrops and comes with restricted ammo that can't be acquired after it runs out. To get high star weapons you need to open an airdrop. Opening the airdrop is a risk reward play. When opening or near the airdrop, zombies can see where you are and jump on you as you're trying to open the airdrop. Hold E to open the airdrop when looking at it. Opening the airdrop alone can take a long time, but as more people hold E on it simultaneously, it will open up much faster. Looking inside the airdrop, you can find all the guns in the game, ranging from 4 stars to 6 stars. Health vending machines are the only way to get your health back in the game. They can be found near many buildings and are highlighted with yellow. To regain health you've lost, simply go next to it and press E. This will refill all your health instantly. When you're low on health, the closest health machine will be marked with a plus sign so you know where it is. An extra thing regarding health you can do is pick up armor from the ground. You can find armor just like how you find weapons either around the map or in an airdrop. Armor gives you extra hearts and you cannot be swallowed by zombies when you have armor. After a human player gets on the train, the second phase of the game starts. After you see the word all aboard, the train starts moving and the main action starts. Prepare to defend the train as zombies will try to throw you off to stop your progress on your way to the escape. The tricks you learn in the first phase will definitely help you as if you get thrown off it's going to be hard to get back on if you're not that good at movement. The moment someone steps on the train it will depart and the zone will start closing in on the train. The zone slowly damages you eventually killing you if you don't make it out in time. Although the zone does not damage zombies. Zombies can press R to respawn at a zombie nest close to the train. Most of the zombie nests are tower-like buildings with a room where the zombies can spawn. Humans cannot get into this room until the train reaches that tower. There is a health machine that you can use to get back your health on the top floor of that tower. The train stops at a train station on the way once per game letting humans gear up. Zombies cannot get in these safe zones. In the safe zone are lots of ammo and some health stations. The train stays at the safe zone for 50 seconds before departing again. The train goes faster after 5 or less humans are left. When you see the yellow text above saying that the train is almost gone and you hear these drums in the background, you're near the end of the game. You're going to be hoarded by even more zombies in this stage, so be careful. If the train crosses the orange glowing line, then humans win and are greeted with a screen that shows how many escaped, most valuable players and how well you did in the game with your stats such as how many zombies you killed. If every human is infected before they escape with the train, another screen pops up saying swarmed, showing the valuable players in the spotlight and how well you did in the game with your stats such as how many humans you converted. Thank you for watching this video and I hope I at least taught you something or gave you some tricks to use in later matches. Pandemic Express is now out on Steam and you can get it for a good price. I'm Clarion and this has been a starter's guide to Pandemic Express.